Hi guys and welcome back to Lazy Maze Country Kitchen. I got a good question for you. If you need a good, well let me say this first. If you need a good dinner idea and you have a wonderful, beautiful, actual wood fireplace and you got some good old weenies, you know what you can do? Alrighty guys, I'm going to show you what we do. We got this stick. And these are the best weenies in the whole wide world, or southern brand hot dogs. But Jesse Jones, they are awesome. But you need to get you one of these little fire roasting sticks. Put your weenies on there. Just stick them in the middle of your weenie. Push them down. And sorry guys, I know there's a box over there, but we use it to start a fire. <laughs> it's good fire starting material. <laughs> but you put them on the little weenie roaster. And I'm going to sit y'all down and I'm going to let you watch Mr. Lazy cook our supper. This is the best thing on a cold night. Well, even if you're at a campfire, if you're camping out, it's good to roast weenies, ain't it, Mr. Lazy? Well, it kind of brings back to the summertime favor, you know, when you're sitting around the campfire doing this. In the wintertime like this, when it's pouring down the rain and it's just above freezing, it's just too dead burn cold to sit out there and do it. Yep. But you can come in here and sit in the dry. Still warm by the fire, because it's, what, 30, 38. about 35 degrees. Yeah, it was 38. The highs today got to 38. I and think it finally made it to day. 39, I think. I figured it was going to snow as cold as it was. But, but he's holding them over here out of the flames, because yeah. that way it warms your weenies up without cooking the outside of mm -hmm. them. And that's the reason you want a long stick, because you don't want to cook them too fast, or you're going to have a burnt weenie and a cold innard. But if you'll hold them out of the flames and warm the weenie up real good. And you still don't want to hold it in direct fire. You're going to have a really, really burnt weenie. Yeah, they can get crispy if you hold them in there long enough. <laughs> yeah, I told we was camping one time and his nephews asked me if they wanted them to roast me a weenie. And I said, yeah, burn me one. Yeah, she told them to burn her one. They said, burn it. And they said, yeah, burn it. They said, all right. <laughs> and then they brought me back one. When you broke it, it was crispy all the way through the whole thing. Yeah, it was black in the middle. <laughs> I said, sorry, can't be doing that, weenie. <laughs> she never told them to burn another one for her. Nope. I was standing there thinking with them two nephews of mine. I'm like, you don't tell them two boys to burn it. <laughs> <laughs> no, you sure don't. But they done what I asked. Mm -hmm. I couldn't complain about that. No. He's getting them really good and warm, but they should be fine if you wanted to start roasting them. I just think he likes playing in the fire. Y'all know what the old saying is? What's the old saying about playing in the fire? I don't know. Yeah, you do. No, I don't. I never had that problem. Uh huh. <laughs> I think that was just old wise tale to keep the kids away from the fire so the grown-ups could sit around and play in the fire. Uh-huh, but they used to say you can't be playing in the fire and make your tea on the bed tonight. That's what the, everybody used to tell the kids around here. Because that's one thing kids want to do whenever you go camping. They want to play in the fire. Uh-huh, get them a stick and the marshmallow or the weenies and... <laughs> Whatever they could do to get close to the fire. Uh -huh. And you can cook easy any way you want to. You can do them from light brown to dark brown. To it's completely burnt. <laughs> to completely crispy all the way through. And through. <laughs> Trust me, you don't you want like one a crunchy of those. hot dog. You can do it. <laughs> I think I'm going to just brown them just a little bit there on the outside now because I think the inside should be hot. And you don't want to touch them to the wood because if you do, you got crunchy hot dogs too from bread. 
But look how pretty these are. Ooh yeah. Oops, let me turn pull them up here. Ooh yeah. They good and warm, but you see. I'm gonna go ahead and finish these other two up, and we'll be done. You see how good these are? Them's good, good roasted weenies, and that way you can plate them up any way you want on just regular bread or put you some chili and stuff on them. But me and Mister Lazy just like eating them with a piece of bread with some mayonnaise and some mustard. Well, I like the chili and stuff, but you know it just every once in a while you just gotta have a good roasted weenie yeah. and piece of bread. So that's what we're having tonight. But anywho. I just wanted to show you that there's some fun alternatives that you can do for a supper that... Yeah, you can do this if you have to bug out. Yeah. <laughs> Take it to the woods. Mm -hmm. Get you some Cabin. of these and let your kids cook for you. They'd love it. But you might have some crispy weenies. <laughs> yeah, even in the, one of them big old winterized wall tents or something where they got the wood heaters inside. You can open the door up and stick this right in there and warm them right up. You Are you breaking the camera? No, it just it fell over. But I'm going to go get me a piece of bread with some mayonnaise and some mustard. And we're going to have this. And just think, we we do a whole pack. Yeah, We don't eat a whole pack, but, no, but what's the best treat ever? Hey, you can just throw it in the microwave the next day for dinner and warm it up. Or, or actually, you can warm it up in the mornings and uh, scramble you up some eggs, and it's pretty darn good then. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you can already have half your breakfast done. That's right. <laughs> or either just a cold roasted weenie on a piece of bread by itself is awesome. Yeah. I love them like that yeah, without anything. Yeah, I like, I like them a little warm. That's the reason they call them hot dog. A lot of people like the hot dog. Which they good too to just eat by themselves. Here's a story about my daddy. <laughs> yeah, he, he always had to grab one off the grill before. One? Well, I bet you my daddy. He always had to grab the first one off of the grill. My daddy <laughs> loved grilled Jesse Jones hot dogs. It was his favorite. Mm -hmm. And you put them on the grill and he'd get one pack for just people to snack. And I bet you he'd eat over a half a pack of just grilled weenies by themselves before we even got started eating. And I'm pretty bad at it too. I, I'll grab me one or two because I absolutely love them too. But my daddy really loved him some good grilled I don't know if that's showing up on the camera or not back there, but you can see little bubbles pop up on them. And then they'll just poof. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll get it a little closer. It's it won't sit here long because no. the camera will get hot yeah, and it'll get cut, hot off. And cut off. Because there's, there's some heat coming out there right now. Yep, I can feel it on my forehead. <laughs> but guys, I just but, wanted to share with y'all. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Yeah, sorry to tell you, you might as well wait just a second because I think these are done. Let's right. see, look, watch them bubble up there now when I put it over at it in direct heat. He likes to play. That's the reason he likes cooking. No, you like them a little dark. <laughs> I so do. I like them dark. You like the outside but with anyway, a little char on it, so uh -huh. I, I put a little char on it. Well, I appreciate it. He thinks of me. He's a Myself, I wouldn't have done it for myself, but I did do it for you. He loves me. Woo! Mm, but anyway, guys, I just wanted to share a real fun, quick, easy dinner for you. If you've got your uh, natural fireplace with wood, it's it's awesome. It's very easy. So so we can go eat us some good roasted weenies from Lazy Maze Country Kitchen. I love you guys. I love you, love you, love you. Alrighty, guys, just show you these are good roasted weenies, and we're going to eat them. See, I got mayonnaise and mustard. Mr. Lazy done chowing down on his. Mm -hmm. Hey, hungry. I'm mm -hmm. wait. <laughs> Guys, these are so good. If you love good old hot dogs, you've got to try it. Even if you go throw you some wood in the circle outside and do it. Yeah, that wood just does something to it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Makes it completely different. But it's worth a try. Thank you for supper. You're welcome. We'll see you guys. Bye. Bye.